Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Health workers at the Woolensey Health Centre say the absence of accommodation and other health facilities continue to hinder quality health care. They complained a block meant to accommodate them has been converted into an office space for the district's health directorate. The Willensee Health Center started as a CHIPS compound in 1997. It was elevated to a health center in 2004 after the area was carved out of the then Bimbila district. The health center runs OPD, maternity, emergency and psychiatric services. The center has 15 staff made up of seven nurses, four midwives, two dispensary technicians and one nurse practitioner who heads the facility. As at the time of visit, the nurse practitioner had left for school. The centre recalls over 7,000 OPD attendants annually, with malaria topping the cases reported. In 2018 alone, it recorded 2,263 malaria cases, while in 2019 mid-year, a total of 2,413 malaria cases were recorded. Though a health centre, it serves as the only referral centre in the Nanumba South District. They explain the centre lacks the facilities of a referral centre. He listed staff accommodation, delay in supply of medical consumables, insanitary conditions and states of the labour room as some of the challenges of the health centre. Our labour room we have only two labour beds. Our number of midwives have increased. For the past years, we have about four to five midwives, but it's only one that the facility can accommodate. The rest are renting elsewhere, and mostly when they are called at midnight, the security has to come and go and accompany them to the place. The only toilet facility, seven boat staff and workers, was in a deplorable state, forcing patients to resort to open defecation. The dispensary was empty and has become a storeroom for other materials. People are storing items here because there are no drugs here. I think if there were drugs, this micro, I mean, uh, public addressing system and books wouldn't have been here. Um, we receive drugs from region and the car comes to us in a while. Um, sometimes it comes with a very small drugs. Within a week or two, everything is run out. The Nanumba South District Assembly has also constructed and handed over a theater block to the health center, but the theater is yet to be equipped. A resident, Amadou Safianu, is unhappy about the health care delivery at the health center. The facility is there as a white elephant. That nothing is happening in the hospital. Even simple gloves for, for labor, you don't have. Even when you go there, uh, when you, if you send your, 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 your pregnant woman to, to deliver, even gloves, you have to come back and buy gloves. Plaster, you have to come and buy plaster. Even chloroquine, injection, you have to come and buy paracetamol, common paracetamol. Even when you send, a, a, when, when you go there as a health insurance user, they will not even give you para. Nanumba South District Health Director Victoria Aboyela explained it had no accommodation for its offices. When the district was started under a tree, and then uh, later on they came and built. Uh, an accommodation for the office space but then they didn't finish and then they quickly built the staff accommodation so when that one was finished we decided to move into the staff accommodation whilst they continue with the office accommodation but since then it, they have not continued and it's still like that Let's now go to the western region where the Takwa and Swayem municipality has constructed a six-unit classroom for Dadrin Basic School. This intervention follows a TV3 mission report on the state of a stalled Get Fund school project. Stanley Nibleu has the details. Dadrin is located between Simpa and Dompim in the Takwa and Swayem municipality. Established over half a decade ago, the Dadrin Basic School serves close to 500 pupils from three communities. In February, when the mission team visited the school, only two unit classroom blocks and an office had been provided from kindergarten up to primary three pupils. Makeshift structures were later erected to accommodate the increased population in the upper primary. Although school was not in session at the time the mission team visited, the municipal chief executive confirmed the deficit. This compelled teachers to teach two different classes under the same roof. 
construction of a six-unit get fun classroom project with a library, an office, and an ICT lab to help address the infrastructure gap had stalled. However, the contractor went back to site after TV3 mission team had visited the school. The project has been completed and handed over for use. It's been technically um, handed over because they, they wanted to use it. So we've, we've, we've given it to them. The user agency will have to use it for a six-month period before retention can be paid, which means between that period, any fault or any defects will have to be corrected by the contractor. So we've, we've done that. The municipal chief executive, Gilbert Kenneth Asma, said provision is being made for furniture. The assembly says it is keen on improving education at all spheres in the municipality. Teachers and students at the Isaman Kakraba Junior High School in the Takwa and Soye municipality of the Western Region can now heave a sigh of relief following the construction of a three-unit classroom block assembly, Stanley Nibleu Hasmo. Isaman Kakraba is densely populated and remains one of the fastest growing settlements in the Takwa and Soye municipality. Education is one of the priorities of the community but not much has been done to promote it. The community's school was established four years ago, but inadequate infrastructure led to the combining of two classes during instructional hours. Construction of a classroom block by the community to augment the existing classrooms stalled at the window level. Intervention by the Takwa and Swaye Municipal Assembly led to the provision of a three-unit classroom block to address congestion in the school. When the mission team visited in February, the classroom block had been completed but without furniture. The municipal chief executive, Gilbert Kenneth Asma, committed to providing furniture. The assembly made some furniture, a dual desk, hexagonal, teacher's table and chairs. The member of parliament also uh, constructed some and it was you know, distributed or distributed by the education directorate, so they have furniture. A follow-up by the mission team established that the school has also been provided with separate sanitary facilities for teachers and students. An information communications technology lab complemented the project. Head teacher of the school was impressed about the gesture. We were having a lot of challenges in the art teaching and learning at the DHS level. So in fact, the new block has helped the school a lot. It has given accommodation for all the three classes. So each of the class has a room now for teaching and learning. Improved education infrastructure in the Isaman Kakraba community conforms to the Sustainable Development Goal 4 which promotes universal access to quality education and lifelong learning for all by 2030. That's all for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for watching.